This is the day the Lord has made. We want to welcome you to a special edition of our Sunday morning service with Elder Gregory Reinhardt, pastor of Solid Rock Full Gospel Baptist Church Ministries International. Please feel free to share today's broadcast with as many people as you know. Also, feel free to comment if you get encouraged, blessed, or stirred up as you hear the Word of God. And use the emojis at any time to get our online activity to be heard throughout our time. If you're watching YouTube Live, display us on your smart TV for your entire family to watch. Do you know someone that does not have internet access? Share our conference call number with them today, 951-981-7252, where they can hear an audio version of this broadcast playing simultaneously with today's service. Be a blessing to someone you know to give them an opportunity to hear an uplifting message from God's Word. Again, our conference call number, 951-981-7252. Let's all do what we can to keep everyone connected. But now, let's get into this power Pack message. Praise the Lord, believers. I'm Pastor Gregory Reinhardt from the Solomon Full Gospel Baptist Church here in Capitol Heights, Maryland, where we love God, love people, and we especially love you. We want to invite you to for our Facebook Live at 10 o'clock on Sunday mornings, every Sunday morning, where the power of God is moving. Don't miss it. God will bless you when you tune in to us. I believe God going to have his way each and every Sunday. We may be distant away from each other, cannot come together, but God is with us. So I want to invite you to tune in to Salara, where God is God and Jesus is Lord. God bless you.
Thank you for joining us. Please welcome our special guest, Bishop Herbert Jackson from the Life Changing Church in Temple Hills, Maryland. Praise the Lord and God bless you. I'm Solid Rock for Gospel Church. Certainly we give honor to God and to Pastor and Lady um, Gregory Reinhardt. We praise the Lord for each of you and we are bringing you greetings today. I'm Bishop Herbert Jackson and I bring you greetings from the Life Changing Church and my wife, Pastor Patricia. Certainly we're praying for you during this time. Um, certainly we thank the Lord for the life and the legacy of Mother Wilhelmina Reinhardt and truly and dearly you all are in our hearts and prayers. We were elated to be with you this past March for your um, anniversary, the 63rd anniversary of your church, and the fifth anniversary of your pastor. And at that time, we preached from the subject, God will come through for you. And certainly in these trying times, I want you to remember that in times like these, God will come through for you, that you're not forgotten, that you're yet on the mind of God. And any day now, any moment, God's going to work it out on your behalf. I pray that you enjoy this message as it's rebroadcast today. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. Be encouraged. We're praying for you. We love you in Jesus' name. God bless. We're coming back to chapter number two, verses one through four. Father, we thank you for the foolishness of preaching that you used to confound us. Now we pray, Lord, that you would use us in these moments, that you would bless us, that you would bless your people. Pray, God, that the words that we might speak would be edified to your body. Pray, God, that we will be encouraged. We'll go on and see where the end is going to be saved, sanctified. You with the Holy Ghost, heal and deliver and make free. God, will give your name praise forever. We thank you now. Cause me to decrease that you might increase the more. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So we thank God for Elder Curtis on the organ. Praise the Lord for him. Come back to chapter 2. We'll begin reading at verse 2. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on tablets, that he may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it will speak. My, my, my. And it will not lie. Yes, God. Though it tarries, wait for wait. it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold the proud. The soul, soul is not a bride in him. But the just shall live by its faith. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I want to talk just for a few moments on this 63rd church anniversary and fifth pastoral anniversary from the subject, God will come through for you. I wish you would just find a neighbor and just tell them, God will, God will come through. Come through. For you. for you. Let me just tell you that was the wrong neighbor. Find another one. Say, neighbor, neighbor. God will God come, through come through for you. For you. Yes, he will. And as you Lord. celebrate oh, yeah. He's a right on time, God. This yeah. morning, this evening, your he 63rd <laughs> he anniversary of the church and fifth pastoral anniversary, we must pause. And thank God for all that he has done. Yes. Not only in the life of this church and congregation, but also in the life of this pastor and his family. Yes, God. Undoubtedly, God has made ways out of no ways. Yes, right. God. He has fought battles and caused you to win many victories. Yes. However, these 63 years, as I heard someone say earlier, have not come without challenges. Yes. Have not come without disappointments. Yes. There have been setbacks. Yes. But in spite of it all, yes. God keeps on proving himself yes. strong, faithful, yes. and mighty. Oh, that will pray with me. Yes. And although it is only the third month of the year 2020, yes. 
This year has had its challenges already. Uh, uh, for, for us as a people, as a, as a nation, and even as a church. But look around, God keeps on blessing us. Keeps on making a way. Uh, even in the midst of this uh, coronavirus and that's gone a pandemic, I'm certain that you will agree with me that God has a plan for us. And I'm certain that you will agree that we are living in challenging times, but, but God is still working it out. I don't know about you, I got some stuff I need God to work out. Just think about all that is going on. It is a fact for every believer that we must hold on to God the more. We must not allow ourselves to retreat or fall into divers temptations and tricks of the enemy. I heard somebody say on a commercial when I was growing up, the tricks are for kids. Uh, we, we, we ought to be mature enough at this time to, to know that God is up to something and that the enemy can't have what God gave me. Uh, yeah, we ought to know by now that, that, they, that there are many tricks, hallelujah, that, 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 that the enemy may come up with, but God has given us the power and the authority uh, to overcome the chapter 10 verse 22 says let us hold fast to the profession of our hope without wavering yes, for he who promised is yes, yes, yes. I don't know about you I'm so glad that God we serve a faithful God yes, because he's faithful we will not waver and we're living in a time where many have become weary yes. even in this day and time these last few weeks You've heard much panic going on, not only among sinners, but even believers are panicking because it seems as if they don't know what to do. Hallelujah. But I told the church this morning, the blood still works. Hallelujah. I still believe that, that God will come through for us and that God will make a way out of no way and God will turn this safe situation around. Many times the tactics of the enemy are subtle that one could be wrong and yet call it right or at least justify why it's okay. Not only that, but when we consider the trouble, trials, and tribulation that many of us have experienced, it seems sometimes as if what we are going through will never end. I've come to report today that God has not forgotten us. <laughs> Somebody want to dance right there. I'm telling you, God has not forgotten us. Hallelujah. And he will come through. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, for each of us. Our scripture text this evening from the book of Habakkuk, which I read chapter 2. Habakkuk reflects on exceedingly traumatic time in Israel's history. Not long before the mighty Assyrian army destroyed one city after the other, brutally killing people. And we know that not long after Habakkuk was written, the Babylonians under King Nebuchadnezzar would three times attack Jerusalem, taking the leaders and still citizens into exile. Right. Let me tell you something, the devil's after you because of what you have. Uh, the, the devil's on your track and it looks like he's messing with you and he keeps bothering you because of your skill. Uh, uh, look, the text makes us to know that when Nebuchadnezzar went into Babylon, he went looking, when he went into Jerusalem, he went looking to bring back to Babylon those who had something to offer. Uh, those that had something to bring that would help promote the Babylonian kingdom. I'm trying to tell you the reason the devil keeps bothering you is because if he ever gets you, he believes that you can help the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you, it's all right because we're on the Lord's side and no weapon formed against us shall prosper and no tongue that rises against us. Every tongue that rises against us in judgment, you, you, you shall condemn. Hallelujah. 
did a violence was all around her back. Yes, Much like what we see going on today. The, the coronavirus again has many in a state or place of panic and not knowing what to do. Uh, you know, uh, many churches were closed today. Uh, and I understood the 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 the, um, the rule was that if you had more than 250 people, you weren't to assemble. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But 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 it's all right. Um, you know, folks were saying, well, all the I saw this on Facebook to say, well, all the small churches ought to just go and have church. And I said to myself, I started to um, quote and type on it or post it, but I didn't want to offend anybody. I started to say the, the small churches we always had church. <laughs> Lord, help us. Pastor 
Bavaria and, and they have been working in this vineyard all this time and pastoring for the five years. How many the Lord, how long? How long? How long must we put up with this? Habakkuk the mint joins the mints from all around the world in which people have found the words to name the situations of violence and injustice in the last how long? Must we put up with a president? <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, who cares nothing about the people? How long? How long will our elected politicians fight against one another instead of caring about us? Lord, how long? Uh, resisting whatever is threatening the well-being of our people. It is significant to note that the violence and terror would continue a long time. I, 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 I need to that what we are experiencing now is just the beginning. Yeah. Hallelujah. And this is a season, I believe, um, of preparation. Yeah. And, and instead of running around frantically yeah. and, and in a panic, we ought to prepare ourselves as a people of God to help bring out those who don't know the way. Nobody going to help me. Uh, uh, how long? Yeah. This may happen a long time. Hallelujah. We may be in it for a minute. Hallelujah. But Which endureth forever. God keeps proving this. 
that can remind us centuries later how important it is to keep believing in a God that will bring deliverance. Yes, God. And the unflinching belief in God's ability to make an end to violence is precisely the reason why the book of Habakkuk was banned in Germany. Yeah. Uh, they knew that, that, that if, if the saints ever held on to the fact that they served a God that would make a way, yeah. hallelujah, if they only could stop us uh -huh. from believing in our God, hallelujah, hallelujah, I'm so glad that there were some saints that went to church this morning, uh, some saints that in church this yeah. afternoon, yeah. why did I come to church? Uh,
Because yeah. Isaiah yeah. said, yeah. Has thou not known? Uh -huh. Has thou not heard uh -huh. that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator oh. of the ends of the earth, yeah. fainteth not, yeah. neither is he weary? Yeah. There is no searching of his understanding. But here's the part he giveth power to the thing. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth, the Bible says, shall think and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait, come on here. Oh. 
the midst of this anniversary. God is doing a new thing. Can you not perceive it? How did your folks? That's a great reality. Prophesy to this house that you're in your best years. President, our leader, our vice president, the congressmen, Lord. Oh God, that as they, the health medical personnel that are working diligently, Lord, to find an antidote that can, oh God, can help us stop this pandemic. God, we pray, Lord, that you might guide those leaders. We pray that you might guide those ones 
that are so involved and working diligently, all the scientists, God, give them, change their hearts, give them their minds, work in their minds, work in their hearts in the name of the Lord. Then we pray against anything and all things, those weapons and those things that have formed trying to come against them. God, we speak and we pray for this world. We pray for America in Jesus' name. We pray. Maybe you heard the word of God and it challenged your heart, talked about your life. If you are there and you want to know about Jesus, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. All you have to do is acknowledge him, believe in him, and receive him as Lord. Amen. The Bible says, if I will confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God hath raised Jesus Christ from the dead, the Bible said, thou shalt be saved. I want to encourage you to give your life to Jesus. Do, during this torment that was happening in our world, give Jesus a chance. Jesus can bring us through. God bless. As a reminder, here are many ways to give to Solid Rock during this time. Make checks payable to Solid Rock Full Gospel Baptist Church. Call the church office at 301-499-1001 for credit card payments by phone. The cash app, dollar sign Solid Rock 7711. Giblify, search for Solid Rock, specify your amount and done. You can also give via PayPal, King JDW Solid Rock FG at Verizon.net. Pastor Reinhardt and the entire leadership want to ensure that we meet the needs of the membership while we are not together in the church building. The elders and ministerial staff will reach out to you as we go through the coronavirus outbreak. We will communicate with you through our electronic platform. If you have any questions, please reach out to a member of the ministerial staff or call the church office. Thank you for joining us today. We pray you were blessed and encouraged by today's broadcast. We are grateful that you chose to join us today for this power-packed message with Elder Gregory Reinhardt. Join us next Sunday for our next broadcast. Please remember, during this time, to be safe, be well, and be blessed.